Welcome to Lecture 1, Root Causes and Motivations for Regenerative Agriculture, Lesson 2, Soil Erosion. During this lesson, you are going to learn what soil erosion is, which are its main causes, which factors affect it, and how it could be faced. Soil is the Earth's fragile skin that anchors all life on Earth. It is comprised of countless species that create a dynamic and complex ecosystem and is among the most precious resources to humans. Increased demand for agricultural commodities generates incentives to convert forests and grasslands to farm fields and pastures. The transition to agriculture from natural vegetation often cannot hold on to the soil and many of these plants, such as cotton, palm oil, soybean and wheat can actually increase soil erosion beyond the soil's ability to maintain itself. Half of the top soil on the planet has been lost in the last 150 years. In addition to erosion, soil quality is affected by other aspects of agriculture. These impacts include compaction, loss of soil structure, nutrient degradation and soil salinity. What is soil erosion? Soil erosion is a naturally occurring process that affects all landforms. In agriculture, soil erosion refers to the wearing away of a field topsoil by the natural physical forces of water and wind or through forces associated with farming activities such as tillage. Erosion, whether it is by water, wind or tillage, involves three distinct actions. Soil detachment, movement and deposition. Topsoil, which is high in organic matter, fertility and soil life, is relocated elsewhere on site where it builds up over time or is carried off site where it fills in drainage channels. Soil erosion reduces cropland productivity and contributes to the pollution of adjacent watercourses, wetlands and lakes. Soil erosion can be a slow process that continues relatively unnoticed or can occur at an alarming rate, causing serious loss of topsoil. Soil compaction, low organic matter, loss of soil structure, poor internal drainage, salinization and soil acidity problems are other serious soil degradation conditions that can accelerate the soil erosion process. Worldwide, we lose about 25 billion tons of land, on average 15 tons per hectare per year. This corresponds to 80,000 freight cars, and these in turn to the distance from Hamburg to Venice. Freight cars full of valuable topsoil. In Germany, the risk is much lower than in drier countries, such as Spain, Italy or African countries, or even the USA. In this slide, you can see the distance from Hamburg to Venice, which is equal to 80,000 freight cars. The European Union is losing 970 million tons of soil per year due to water erosion, an amount equivalent to a 1 meter depth loss of soil from an area having the size of the city of Berlin or enough to cover an area twice the size of Belgium with 1 centimeter of soil. Our most significant non-renewable geo resource is productive land and fertile soil. Each year, an estimated 24 billion tons of fertile soil are lost due to the erosion. That's 3.4 tons lost every year for every person on the planet. 10 tons of soil loss per hectare equals 1 millimeter of soil. Let's see now the main causes of soil erosion. Rain and rainwater runoff. Farming the slope of the land, soil erodibility, lack of vegetation, unsheltered distance, wind. In this slide you can see the process of soil erosion during rainfall. The raindrop creates micro pits in which the trajectories of detached soil are falling into and with the flow of the water they are moving forward. By this way, it is caused the deposition of the detached soil particles. Soil fertility is vital to a productive soil, 
but a fertile soil is not necessarily a productive soil. The majority of organic matter, approximately 50% of plant available phosphorus and potassium, are concentrated in the topsoil. Losing topsoil to erosion contributes to a loss of inherent soil fertility levels of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, and thus to a decline in potential crop yield. Productivity lost by excessive soil erosion cannot be restored with additional inputs when soils have subsoil material with unfavorable physical and chemical properties for plant root growth. In soils that have fragile subsoils, limited rooting depth, coarser sand and gravel or high densities, there is little or no ability to recover yield losses with increased inputs. The loss of yield is devastating. In summary, preventing soil erosion means preserving inherent soil fertility and minimizing fertilizer and management inputs. Understanding the impact of erosion on soil productivity means knowing the characteristics of your soils. Information about soil profile characteristics is available in every country soil survey report. But which are the main factors that can affect the soil ecosystem and the agricultural productivity? Wind profile, air moisture content, radiation, precipitation, topography, soil nutrients, soil flora and fauna, soils microbes, temperature. Having mentioned all the previous, let's see now the harmful effects of soil erosion. Loss of topsoil, soil compaction, reduced organic matter and fertile matter, poor drainage, issues with plant reproduction, soil acidity, long-term erosion, water pollution, climate change. As you can understand, the phenomenon of soil erosion might not seem to have a large-scale impact at the time it occurs, although its side effects can gradually contribute to climate change. Let's see now some solutions in order to avoid soil erosion. Careful tilling. Doing less tilling with fewer passes will preserve more of the crucial topsoil. Crop rotation allows organic matter to build up, making future plantings more fertile. Water control. Specialized chats and runoff pipes can help to direct these water sources away from the susceptible areas, helping stave off excess erosion. Soil conservation. Different techniques for improved soil conservation affect both fertility and erosion. Increased knowledge, outreach to farmers in susceptible areas for ways that they can help protect crops from ensalment weather or ways that they can help make sure their soil remains compact without restricting their plant growing activities. Thank you very much for attending this lesson.